A little known fact about Kermit the Frog is that he was a full-blown communist at the height of the Cold War. Kermit was introduced to Marxist literature during his time at Louisiana State University and became a rampant anti-war and anti-capitalist protester. Hey everybody, let's make love, not war, and Richard Nixon is a piece of shit. During his time at Sesame Street, Kermit would often try to weave his communist beliefs into everyday lessons for children. Uh, today's letter of the day is R, which stands for revolution, which Karl Marx calls us to do in order to overthrow the chains of a capitalist oppressive system. And we must do this by workers rising up and yeah, yeah, seizing the means of production. But tensions began to rise on the set of Sesame Street as Kermit became increasingly radicalized. In September of 1970, Kermit was temporarily dropped from the show due to a feud he had with the Count. Y you know what, Count? You're a proletariat bourgeoisie sellout piece of shit. And I just want to see the reason that socialism has not worked yet is because we have not tried real socialism yet. So get off your fucking high horse. Let's sit here together and count the millions of people killed by Joseph Stalin. One, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Two, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Three, ha, ha. Kermit thought he could call the Count's bluff and that he wouldn't actually count all the people killed by Joseph Stalin. But 385 days later, the Count finally reached 20 million.